Hello guys and today I'm going to be doing my predictions for the most, for the Mategi Grand Prix uh, which is happening tomorrow at, I don't know what time it is but it is going to be on at some time and um, so if you don't know in qualifying Valentino Rossi got second I don't know why I started with Rossi but Jorge Lorenzo got first or pole position and Mark Marquez got third position. Now I think that this could be a battle for the win here, but it seems like Rossi and Lorenzo are going to be clearing off. But before I say my prediction, the what happened, the results from the Aragon Grand Prix were Lorenzo finished first, Petrosa second, Rossi third. And uh, the reason why uh, you, Mark Marquez is not there basically he crashed out three laps in or he was, he was something like that and he just crashed like three laps in and then yeah that's pretty much Lorenzo just cleared off after that and then Rossi and Pedroza had an amazing battle you probably might have seen and then yeah so right so my prediction for the Bottegi Grand Prix is in first position, Valentino Rossi. Now, now I think the Reds will get second and Mark will be third. But the reason why I think Rossi can edge it is because if, if you don't know, Jorge has a shoulder injury. Now, it's not affecting him, but I think it'll affect him just towards the end of the race. So, if, I think if Rossi just hangs on to him and stays within like five tenths before the last few laps, I think Rossi has a chance of winning of the winning of the race now uh, it's going to be very close obviously with 14 points so obviously and I am a Rossi fan so I do want Rossi to win this race but you mean it's going to be very close obviously but I mean Rossi's pace in qualifying I think that was just shocking but sh as, if I'm going to have to what if I'm going to watch that race I'm going to have to be awake because I live in England, obviously. I'm going to have to be awake at like 5, 6 in the morning. I'm not sure when it exactly starts, but I'm going to have to be up at some time. And the Americans, God, they're going to have to wake up at like 1 in the morning. <laughs> Hang on, wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. They're going to have to get up like at 1 or 2 in the morning <laughs> to watch the race. So... I'm uh, not sure for any other continents or countries, but I think in Europe it's all, uh, they have to watch it like f f 8 or 7. But anyway, while we're talking about time, but... So, yeah, now, as far as Mark Marquez goes, I think he will have be battling with the D Ducati boys, because it seems like Mark just doesn't have the pace around Mategi, which is a real shame, but... And to honest, in my opinion, Mark's just out of the championship now. I mean, I know it's only the top four now that can actually win the championship. But it's it's it you need seventy five points to be le to stay in the championship and Mark's seventy seven or seventy six or it's a seventy number anyway. So I think I think because the fact that Rossi is ahead of Mark in the qualifying and that he's keeping up Lorenzo's pace I think I just think Mark's hopeless now and he will not win his third title in a row well it's fourth if you count his Moto 2 title but now now I've been well you know after now after these few weeks since ever, it's pretty much ever since Indian right Indian after we started that's when I knew Rossi was definitely <laughs> a contender for a championship with Lorenzo. And I've just been like, now I'm a warrior, I honestly am. And it's all I can put, it's all, that's all it is on my mind. Just Rossi, Lorenzo, Rossi, Lorenzo. It's just on my mind and it's just really annoying me, honestly, it just is. And it's so frustrating because I can't concentrate <laughs> in school just because of that. 
like if if it's not on my mind like it normally isn't but if i ever if there's like work i, I need to do and it's silence i just that's the only thing i can think about so it's very very frustrating life for me right now uh but hey at least there's three races in a row now that's a thing you should know. There's three races in a row. Then you got a two-week break. Then it's the final round of Valencia. Now Valencia, that race, if it does come down, which I think it will do, if it, that championship comes down to that race, my birthday is the next day. So I'm gonna be either really, really happy. I'm like, yay, Rossi won. I'll be partying all night long, all day. On the sat on the Sunday Monday, if he loses, I'm probably gonna be in mourning. Just joking, not in mourning, but just gonna be like not very happy at all. But it is a very very close championship. It's probably been the most close since well, I'd say probably till they till when Rossi last won the championship because really the only battles we've had is Pedroza and Lorenzo, and I only happened for like. Uh, like two years, but not running with Mark one year, then Mark just dominated. So I think this is a wake up call to say that, you know, to say to everyone. <laughs> I don't know why it's a wake up call, but anyway. So this has been Jack4658, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.